Hi everyone, and welcome to Mostly Math. Today, we'll be talking about the infinite ladder of resistors and its relation to the golden ratio. We'll start off by reviewing some elementary series and parallel combinations. So let's say we have two resistors, R1 and R2 in series as follows. The equivalent resistance R prime we know is simply R1 plus R2. Example of this, if they're both equal, R1 equals R2 equals R, then R prime is simply 2R. And let's go ahead and talk about the parallel combination as well. R1 and R2 in parallel as follows. In this configuration, the uh, inverse equivalent resistance, 1 over R prime, is, is defined to be as 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2, which we can simplify as R prime is equal to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 inverse, which, after taking a common denominator, same thing as R1 plus R2 over R1, R2, and then finally reciprocate R1, R2 over R1 plus R2, are commonly um, known as the product over sum formula. And just an example for this, R1 equals R2 equals R. Then R prime is just going to be R squared over 2R, which is R over 2. So for the parallel combination, it's going to have the resistance. Series combination is going to double it. And we also are going to be calling this configuration R1 parallel to R2 just as a notation. Obviously, there's no need for one for the series combination since it's so easy to remember. Now let's go ahead and get to the meat and potatoes. Uh, we know a bit about how to combine series and parallel combinations. We can actually combine them in an interesting way by considering a cool ladder. Just for reference, I'll go ahead and write down what we've learned. We've got um, series R1 R prime is equal to R1 plus R2 and parallel R prime is equal to uh, R1, R2 over R1 plus R2. We'll be using these in this lecture here. Let's go ahead and consider the letter in question. We'll go ahead and talk about a letter of resistors defined as follows. Resistor here, resistor here, resistor here, all of resistance R. And this actually goes on forever. So we have series and parallel combinations go on forever. Let's go ahead and see what we can learn about these from the series and parallel combinations. It's called the equivalent resistance that we want to discuss, R prime. And the first thing we can note, it starts off with, with uh, resistance R. So R prime is equal to R, and it's going to be in series with the rest of the circuit, plus, and there's another R here, and we can see that this R is now in parallel with the last portion of the circuit, circuit which is infinite. Here's the important part. Note that the infinite portion of the circuit is the same as the original circuit that we started with. This kind of self-referential feature is what will eventually yield us the golden ratio. So we have the equation R prime is equal to R plus R parallel R prime which we will now write in terms of a quadratic that we can solve by using the rules that we learned. So we have R plus R, R prime over R plus R prime. And now we're going to multiply top and bottom, sorry, left and right hand side by R plus R prime. Let's get rid of this denominator here. So we have R prime, R plus R prime is equal to R, R plus R prime plus R, R prime. We're going to write this in a form that we can use the quadratic formula in, setting everything equal to zero. Zero is equal to R prime squared. Well, let's not simplify it yet. Let's go ahead and write it down. So we got R prime, R plus R prime minus R, R plus R prime minus R, R prime. So 
now we expect to see some cancellation. So this one's fine, r prime squared, but we see that r prime r is going to cancel with this term here. So these two go away, everything else stays. So we got zero is equal to r prime squared. Then we got uh, minus r, r prime, minus r squared. Excellent. This is the quadratic that we have to solve. Sounds good. Let's actually go ahead and divide top and bottom, sorry, left and right, by 1 over r squared, because we want a single variable to apply the quadratic formula to. This becomes 0 is equal to r prime over r squared minus r prime over r minus 1. So now, we don't need this anymore. We have done all the physics. Everything we're doing now is just algebra. But it is interesting algebra in the sense that it will yield us go the ratio. We will see how it now. Let's go ahead and solve the quadratic. So we have something equal to zero. Quadratic equation here. We have zero is equal to something which we're calling x squared minus x minus one. And we all recall how to, how to solve these from high school. This implies that x is equal to one plus or minus the square root of one minus four times one times negative one all over two. So we get x is equal to one plus or minus the square root of five over two. And we are going to choose the positive Solution, since in this context, resistances are always positive. 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2, which is approximately 1.618. Golden ratio, it appears everywhere. It appears in buildings, people's faces, spirals of animals, rectangles. But what's interesting to me in this context, there's nothing geometric in sight at all, which is how it typically appears. Yep, it's still here. Clear as day. Oh, okay. So let's go ahead and apply this to what we've learned here. We have learned that r prime over r is equal to phi, or r prime is equal to phi r, which is approximately 1.618 r, as we learned a moment ago. So the resistance actually goes up in this infinite letter. It's very cool, very simple formula. Feel free to impress your friends with this one neat trick. But that's not all. No, that's not all. Actually, we get a second letter entirely for free. Entirely for free. Yeah, let's go ahead and erase all this. I don't need this anymore. Just need this here. R prime is equal to R phi. We are going to consider a very similar letter. We're going to consider the same letter. Oh, I can write this one bigger. We're going to consider the same letter, but with the first resistor removed. Still going to go on forever. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at what we have here. We're going to start off by calling this R double prime. And we're going to note that it starts off with an R, like last time. And it is indeed in parallel with the rest of the circuit. But here's where we can use what we know. The rest of the infinite part of the circuit is actually just what we discovered earlier as R prime. And now we can use the formula that we know from earlier. Is equal to r, r prime over r plus r prime. And we can simplify this as phi r squared over r plus phi r. Simplifying again. Phi over 1 plus phi r. Yes, two r's cancel. Excellent. And we're going to divide top and bottom by 1 over phi equals r over 1 plus 5. And now, 
Sorry, one plus one over five. And now we need one more property of the golden ratio to proceed. Not very difficult to derive though, so it'll be okay. We could at this point just stop and say, okay, let's use our calculator to calculate one plus one over five. But what's the fun in that? So we're gonna go with zero equals five squared minus five minus one, which we learned earlier. We're going to multiply top and bottom by one over five to obtain zero is equal to five minus one minus one over five. And so we obtain, not zero this time, five is equal to one plus one over five. Exactly what we have over here. So this is simply r over five. We've actually gotten a second ladder for free, completely for free, just by deriving one more property of the golden ratio. So now we have two ladders. Feel free to actually build these letters. You can do this in the lab. And what's interesting is it really does come out to this value. Very cool to see how the golden ratio can be realized physically. But wait, how is any of this useful, you might ask? Well, Feynman has an answer for us. If we go ahead and check out the Feynman Lectures on Physics, book two, uh, section 22-6, he will tell us that if we want to make a low pass filter, all we have to do is make a ladder like we did the first time, but instead of resistors, replace all the circuit elements with inductors, and capacitors in the following way. We've got C, L, C, L. And yeah, these are used in making music, engineering. A variety of applications use the low pass filters. And if you want the high pass filters, simply repeat, replace which one is C and which one is L. And you might also, also be asking, how can we make this in, in a lab at all, since you need an infinite number of resistors or inductors or capacitors? Well, what they do typically is start off with a small portion of the circuit. They'll take, say, this and this, and they will replace this with the impedance, which is calculated similar to what we did here with the resistors, except you have I's and omegas, C's and L's instead of R's. It's a bit more complicated, but the exact same principle follows. So I hope you learned something today about the relationship between infinite letters, golden ratios, and the making of filters. So if you enjoyed this and want to see more, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.